guys, it's Matt from Ultimate City Source. Today I've got the instruction video for all you iPad owners running the iPad 4.0. I'd just like to say welcome to the 4.0 club basically. Um, I do not have an iPad at the moment. Hopefully I'll be getting one when the iPad 2 comes out. But anyways guys, let's move on past that. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to, guys how to get the folders like I have on my iPhone 2G. Like this. Well actually it's more like this for the iPad. Let's see. So it's more like that guys. But it's pretty close to true. It's not, I mean, it's not close like this is, but let's see. You can see this is pretty close to accurate. Um, so it's going to be more like this. But let me show you guys how to get it. Okay, so inside the iPad 4.0 download that you got, you found the folders. That's good for you. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go into Cydia on your iPad. Sorry, guys. I don't have this preloaded up. But you know what? I know you guys' iPads are faster than my iPhone 2G. So, at this point, um, I'll just speed up the video while it loads. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's just wait for it to load real quick. I apologize for any wait that you are waiting on. In the meanwhile, if you do not oh, if you did not purchase categories SB, you must get some form of crap. Categories XP, whether it be cracked or you buy it yourself. Um, I personally say go buy it, but whatever. Your choice. Um, okay, you can see Cydia is going to load. So, in the meanwhile, while you guys wait for me, what you need to install is categories um, and categories SB, whether it be the cracked version or the paid version. You will need to install that stuff and then I believe respring your iPad. You know what? You guys can actually search that. Uh, it's under the featured packages page though it's like on the main page right there um, anyways guys so let's just get on to it once you've installed categories you'll need to put your um, your all your apps into the categories you want them to be and then open up the categories application itself I'm gonna open up mine and so once you got this all open just make sure that's open it actually doesn't have to be open for this but then go to your computer go to SSH go back to the slash mark and then just click applications and then find certain categories. To find which one they are, you can just go into them and hit like the icon. So like for Mac, you can just hit space and preview it. So like, I can tell this is my games folder. So all you're going to do, you're going to go here. You're going to open up your download kit. And you're just going to select both of these. And you're going to drag it in. Now I'm not going to drag it in because I don't have an iPad. So it's not going to do anything. But you will drag it in. And you will do that for every category you have. So let, because I have all these categories, let's say... All I do is I just drag this into all the categories. And in case you want to have so many categories because they're blanks, but whatever. Then once you do that, just respring your iPad. And you can pause the video right now if you need to. to keep up. Once you've resprung, open up the categories app. Then go to manage folders. Sorry guys, it's like okay. You can see these are all blank categories I've made. Okay, let's see. Then you just hit edit. You hit the little blue mark. And you can see what you're going to need to do is you're going to use background image. You need to make sure that is on. Show behind status bar, make sure that is off. Show behind dock is on. Show title bar is on. Show or use title bar image is off. Animate open and close on. Hide the dock off. or well, off or on. That's your option. Show uh, cumulative badge your option again I haven't noticed any difference scroll hor scroll horizontally is off scroll by pages I would leave on but that's your choice again swipe to close is off and if you want you can apply that to all categories at the top and then just respring your iPad oh, and I apologize that my iPhone 2 is no longer on the screen let me, see, let me see if I can get it back up real quick I apologize for this guys let me just open up the screen splitter and get iDemo to register again So after you did that, your iPad might respring. Some iPads do, some iPads don't. Let me just get this back up. Then once you do that, you can you'll have your folders. Yet you still want to have the icons. So what you'll need to do is go back into the folders, and you can either use this icon.psd and make your own icon in Photoshop or GIMP, or you can use some of my pre-built icons, like such as this one, which is a free utilities, which is like the clock, the calculator voice memos and um, the contacts 
or the games one and I will be including an apps one in here um, it's not in here as of now but I'm gonna work on that right now so uh, there will be an apps one too hopefully some other ones maybe um, if you want you can just use those those won't actually reflect what's in your folder if you want it to reflect what's in your folder you will have to make your own in Photoshop that does not take very long um, Mr. E just tech did it he said it's about 10 minutes and he said that he's a very like not the highest end photoshopper for a, a, a proficient photoshopper it should take anywhere from three minutes to five minutes depending on how easily you can get the icons and everything but guys that's just a really quick tutorial on how to get the folders if you have any problems please feel free to contact me on twitter through youtube or at my or at my email address my email address is on my channel as of well it's gonna be yeah so go check that out if you have any problems like i said let me know if you like this, please just leave a good comment or spread the word out. Please help get the word out about this project. So, see you guys.